Hi there, John Malik for Champions Way, and today I'm asking you the question, what do you do when you no longer own your brand name? All right, so let's get one thing straight. You do no longer own your brand name. The crowd does, the internet does, the world owns your brand name and how you're perceived, okay? So, best example, we've already experienced this on Facebook, so I'm gonna take that example and drill down a little bit. 20 years ago, anybody in any marketing piece could say anything. I could say I'm Vancouver's number one choice for martial arts lessons and there was no way to validate if I'm lying or if that's actually the truth. However, today you go on Facebook and you say you're the number one anything for anything, if people check you out and see your competitors have thousands more likes than you do, they're going to call your bluff. They're going to call you right out and they're going to say, how can you be the number one choice when nobody likes your page? All right? This is going to get even more intense now. Why? Check it out. Google has also joined the party. If you're not aware already, please go to google.com forward slash plus one and watch the video they have there after you watch this video. I'll paraphrase it for you quick. Here's what's happening. Google said, you know what? Facebook can't be the only person who says who's recommended and who's not. I'm going to jump in the game. When people search for things on my search engine, I'm going to put this little number beside their little link and it's going to say whether or not people recommend you. Then, if they click on your link, regardless of seeing that number, in your website, on every single page, beside your products, beside the programs that you offer, besides any of your services, will be another number representing how many people say you should check this out versus, nah, not really worth it. So, we've got to ask ourselves the question, if word of mouth is going to continue to get bigger and bigger in our everyday marketing life, what can we do to take advantage of that so that we're not defeated by it? So I'm going to give you a couple places to start. Number one, this is a simple and obvious one, but we still need to remind ourselves. Continue to offer the best possible service, product, whatever it is, be the best at it every single day. If your front desk person is not treating everyone with respect and urgency, if every one of your classes is not the absolute bomb, if you're not teaching it like it's the last class you might ever teach, well then what are you doing? You're setting yourselves up to let someone else be that person. Be the person that does the little things. If you do it, accumulatively, you're going, to big up, you're going to create a huge following. You're going to big up your brand, and everybody's going to support you online. You know it, and I know it. Okay. Number two, make your following aware, but don't force it. So here's what I mean by that. It's completely cool at a black belt extravaganza to say, by the way, check out our Facebook page and ask people to like it. It's all good at a demo to mention, hey, if you ever check out our website, plus one me on Google or on Chrome or whatever. But don't be the person who emails every single day saying, please like my page, please like my page. Don't be that annoying person that deters the people that would normally support you and makes them into people that say, you know what, this guy is just annoying. He's always on my case about liking his page or plus one. So don't get confused between asking for some support and begging for it. There's a big difference and a fine line between them. Number three, if you plan to offer any hookups to the people who like your fan page or the people who plus one you on Google or whatever it is, if you plan to offer any hookups, don't do that stupid, once we hit 500 likes, we're going to give away this to one of our lucky fans. Nobody cares and they also don't believe you. All right. If you want to offer something that people care about, if you want to build a huge online following, hook up everyone, but pick something you can afford to hook them up with, but still has value. If it doesn't have value, you're not going to generate any awareness about your branding, and you're definitely not going to build a following. Okay? And for all you techies out there that says, who cares about the Google Plus One, they haven't released it yet, or the release is going to fail, let me say this to you. If Google doesn't pull off the alternative to Facebook recommendations, somebody else will. This is the online trend. It's going to continue to grow. So you must be on top of these things, okay? I'm John Malik for Champions Way. If you want to talk about this anytime, send an email to john at championsway.com or for more videos like this one, go to youtube.com, check out our channel at Champions Way Inc. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you soon.